Welcome to our crayfish dissection. You'll need your crayfish, a dissection tray, scalpel, scissors, and forceps. And you won't need the pins today because we're working with an animal with an exoskeleton. So first we're looking at the cephalothorax here and that is the abdomen at the bottom. And you can see that the carapace is that hard shell made of chitin. And then there is a cervical groove in between the head region and the thorax or chest region of the crayfish. And along in between the eyes is the rostrum. That's that hard protrusion of the carapace. And you can see those eyes on stalks like a lot of arthropods. And we're going to look at some of the appendages here. You can see there are maxillae next to the mouth, and then mandibles are those light colored structures. They're very hard and tough for crunching inside the mouth. And then there are maxillopeds, which are the longer structures right there. And those are for holding prey while they're eating. And then, of course, there's the chelopeds, which are the claws. And four sets of walking legs. And swimmerettes on the abdomen. And then the two sides of the tail are called uropods. They're symmetrical with a telson in the middle. So now we're going to look at the internal anatomy of the crayfish by taking a cut, making an incision in the carapace, C-shaped incision along the side. I'll show you what that looks like on both sides, and then we'll make a cut down the middle. But you don't want to cut too deeply just through that outer carapace. And I'm going to pull that off. And you can see the gills underneath. The crayfish is a little more difficult to dissect than the earthworm because of the carapace. And a lot of the internal anatomy structures are actually attached with connective tissue to the exoskeleton, the carapace. So um, it's much more difficult to prevent yourself from uh, destroying internal organs as you cut. It, some of it is inevitable. So I'm going to cut off both sides here. And you can see the gills, those dark colored gills underneath. And I'm going to pull off both of those sides just to get them out of the way. Okay, now we're going to hold the crayfish on the left hand side and cut down the center of the cephalothorax, just like your diagram shows in your lab worksheet. And that will reveal most of the internal organs. And again, you can break off that carapace or cut it off, but you're going to need to get it out of the way to see anything underneath.
Now the crayfish's organs under the carapace, especially in this specimen that I have, um, are really a lot the same color. They're all cream colored organs, so it's hard to see what you're looking at. It's definitely not as easy as the earthworm. But I'll try to show you some structures and hopefully you'll be able to find those on your own crayfish. So again, these are the gills, dark colored, feathery, and they're right above the walking legs so that when the legs move, oxygenated water is forced over the gills and then it can pass and diffuse right into the bloodstream. And then this is the mouth, as a reminder, we talked about it already, the mouth is on the underside and it feeds into the stomach which is right here that I'm pushing back. And then on either side of the stomach are the digestive glands. There's one over here and then one on the other side. They're kind of grainy looking. So again, we have the stomach right there and then the digestive glands. And below that are the gonads. They're a little bit more solid towards the posterior and one on that side. And then underneath the stomach is the sac-like heart. And you can see it's slightly darker in color. It's very small and not easy to see uh, on the crayfish, but hopefully you can find it on And then just past the stomach, towards the head, are the green glands. And you really need to get down in there and find those. It's going to be hard for me to show you on the video. But if you look down past the walking legs into the carapace, the green glands are right underneath there. So here are all of the things that we found in the crayfish, all of the different organs. Don't forget to do the lab questions that you have to go with this. And I also took a second and dissected a little bit of the abdomen. So you can see uh, the gonads there a little bit more clearly and then the intestine runs the length of the abdomen down to the anus with muscles on both sides. And that will do it for our crayfish dissection.